If I'm troubleshooting a problem inside of my applications, I'm almost always starting inside of my editor already. And a lot of times what I'm trying to do is find all the different context about what's broken inside of my application and get that into the editor also so I can use it to help solve the problem that I'm having. And this is why the MCP server from Century is so useful because it makes it really easy to grab all that different context from Sentry that we already know around your application performance or the different parts that are breaking and get those over to help debug problems easier. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get set up using it. So we have the MCP landing page at mcp.sentry.dev, and this has all the different setup instructions for different clients and different configurations. You can even come here and use the live MCP demo on the right-hand side to test out the MCP server without ever setting it up inside of your system. For me, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to hit the cursor section, and I'm going to click the Install and Cursor button that'll go ahead and install it in Cursor. It's going to take me to the Install screen inside of Cursor. I'm just going to hit Install, and it's going to prompt me to authenticate. Now, what's really cool about the Sentry MCP is it's a remote-hosted one. You don't have to run anything local. Locally, we host it for you, and since it uses OAuth to set you up, it's going to give you access to all your organizations and projects automatically. So I've got it set up, and you can see it's loaded up all the different tools, and each one of these tools is how we're bringing context from Sentry into your IDE. So all of these are different areas of Sentry that we can interact with. I'm going to close this down, and I'm going to jump back into Sentry now, and I'm going to grab the link for one of my issues that we want to troubleshoot. So I'll just copy this link. I'm going to head back into cursor and I'm going to open up the chat window and I'm just going to say, fix this. And I'm going to paste this in. And now the MCP server is smart enough to understand how to take this URL and extract out the important parts of it to find how to fix this issue. So it understands the organization, it finds the project associated with it, and then it also goes down and finds all the issue details. Now I'm using Seer, Sentry's AI debugging agent, and I've got all the automation set up. So every time a new issue is created inside of my environment, we're setting up a fixability score, and then we're using that to determine what we want to do with Seer. So in my case, I have the root cause and solution steps automatically set Set up. So it's going to run both of those every time a new issue comes in. And you can see inside of the MCP server, it's grabbed that automatically and brought that root cause in as part of its debugging. And it's used that to go and figure out what to fix inside of the application. It's already made that change here. And you can see it set up a to-do list of the different things it was going to do to go and fix the problem. So it's made the modification to the cart file. And it gives me this nice summary of what it actually did to fix it. So I get the root cause here, what the specific solution was, and we're good to go. It's really that easy to get started using the MCP server to fix real problems and to bring information from Sentry in. Give the Sentry MCP server a try. We'd love to hear from you around the different ways that you want to use it to debug problems inside of your applications. I'll talk to you soon.